This is a video on doing the DSG reset on a Audi S3 8V and the same would be a Mark 7 Golf R, it would be the exact same. So we're doing it with an OBD11. So we're to do this, you gotta be at a certain temperature. So we've just been for a drive. We're going to, we're connected here. We're gonna go into the car, uh, into the, Okay, we have a into the apps. You've got the adjustments retrofits workshop. Then you now have a app here for DSG settings, basic trans system transmission. So we're not going to do it quite yet, but we're going to just check the temperatures and things like that first. So um, you have to remember, it's got to be in park. Parking brake has to be on. Foot has to be on the brake, and you cannot. Uh, change the throttle so don't touch the, the throttle pedal um, see there are a few little warnings so so we need to check the transmission temperature to make sure it's within the parameters so we are in the control units under transmission we go to live data now we select which ones we want to see so there is down here Transmission fluid temperature. Okay, 57 degrees Celsius. So we are in the range. Okay, we can now do our the uh, the reset of the DSG. So that resets it to factory specs, and then it's going to have to relearn. So there's two ways to do this. We can do this coding or the app. App easy. You just load it up in the apps page. You know, car apps workshop. and basic settings and transmission we just hit that or we can do it through the more adaptation coding thing so pretty easy to do that i don't think i need to show how to do this because it's not even letting me do it which is fine um and then we need to but we'll do it the other way and go the more coding route Okay, this is the other way to do it. The old fashioned way, you're not paying for apps. So transmission, under control units. And we go basic settings, basic setting of transmission. So basic settings of transmission. boxes now I've seen that before so we'll have to look and see what the says to do when you get that okay I have it working uh, so what I did I did just download a new version of the app so I just restarted my device uh, and I'm doing it through the paid app so it's on my foot's on the brake it's in park it's just making some clunking noises as it kind of goes through the gears so you can see it working you can hear it working and we just have to stay here until it's done so what this does this resets the gearbox it uh, adjusts the clutch pack so I've got 76,000 K's in this car it's never been done so the clutch packs so of course I've worn a little bit um, I've just done a new uh, racing line tune on it and it's recommended to redo the redo the, uh, the setting for the new torque level. So the, the transmission has to relearn with all the new torque levels that are coming from this new tune. So, but recommended to do. There we go. Success. It's done. It stopped making noise. I'll give it a few more seconds here. But that was uh, nice and easy. So that should drive quite differently now. It's probably gonna be a little bit uh, rough to start with, a little clunky. Maybe do a few weird things in, in some corners between gear changes as it learns. So it's gonna relearn everything. So this is as it comes from the, from the factory with the fresh ECU and uh, we'll have a little drive and see if we can get it to uh, 
to learn and see how it feels. Just came back from a little drive after the DSG reset, so I'll give the computer a chance to uh, relearn how to drive and how to handle the torque and things on the car. Uh, must say, things felt uh, the shifts felt a lot crisper, and it, it wasn't hunting around through gears and, and stuff like that. So obviously, the adjusting of the clutch packs that that takes out any of the play that really paid off. And highly recommend doing that this uh, little DSG reset on your uh, on the OBD11 if you have a DSG car. So easy enough to do. It's just a matter of having it at temperature and then following the uh, the. This, I just did the app as you saw. So nice and easy to do that. We run it through it and then take it for a drive. Uh, it was a little bit clunky at first because that's got to relearn. But uh, within about 10 k's. 10 kilometers from home it was just getting very smooth and really nice so ran it through all the different modes you know dynamic mode on this car uh comfort sport efficiency and uh it's overall really nice to you so if you haven't done it yet so i you know from what i've read you should do it every kind of 20 30 thousand k's once a year kind of thing if you haven't done any modifications if you have done a big tune or something where you've got some you know substantially more power and created more torque then you should redo it after that so Basically, that's just tuning, because even if you do an exhaust, it doesn't do that much torque, things like that. So, fantastic. Highly recommend it.